The diagram below shows a light inextensible string passing over a smooth pulley fixed at the top of a smooth plane inclined at 40 degrees to the horizontal. Okay? At one end of the string is a particle. I'm going to assume that this is the particle. I'm going to say that instead of a particle, it's a box of mass m kilograms. Okay? And I'm going to change that to, I'm going to say instead of 3 grams, it's going to be 3 kilograms, which is kept in equilibrium on the slope of the plane by a particle of mass 3 kilograms. Okay, one end of the string is a particle of mass m kilograms. Okay, so this is going to be the particle of m kilograms, which is kept by a particle of mass 3 kilograms. Okay hanging freely at the opposite end of the string. Calculate the normal reaction mass, the normal reaction between the mass M of, and the plane, the tension. So we want the, I'm gonna call this instead of normal reaction, I'm gonna call this the normal force. So that's gonna be R. So I'll call it force, I'm gonna call it force N for force normal, but it's the same as R over here. The tension in the string, T right there, and the value M of this mystery block. Okay, so, yeah, it seems reasonable. So first thing, so I'm gonna do force normal equals question mark, force tension equals question mark, and M equals question mark. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is look at what we got here. So this is, draws mass times gravity. I, this is the force due to gravity. I'm going to draw it though at the center of the block like this. And that's just the way I prefer to draw it. And instead of labeling mg, I'm going to call it force gravity. Same thing though. And we can then decompose this vector into something that looks like this, where this is not really the x and y components, but the down ramp component and the perpendicular or normal to the ramp component. And this part I'm going to call F, maybe? Okay. And I just have memorized that that is going to be mg sine of theta. Now, the way you would get that is you can take this 40 degrees right here, and you can do some geometry and figure out that this... Um, component right here will be sine of this. So this angle right here would probably be theta. So mg sine theta up here. But I just used the mnemonic that I used to memorize that is the force of the block sliding down the ramp will be sine of theta. That we have slide s sine s, therefore they're the same. Just a mnemonic. The correct way of doing it is through geometry, but I recommend using a mnemonic to memorize it because it's easy to get the geometry mixed up and you just don't have, don't have time to go through that for most problems. So I memorized that this is going to be Fg sine of theta and then this normal component, which I draw from the bottom, I'm going to call, um, which is going to be Mg cosine of theta, which makes sense because it's perpendicular to the sine value. So right off the bat, force normal is going to be mg cosine theta and force tension which is going to be counteracted by this uh, string right here so we have a string pulling it up and that's going to counteract because it's in equilibrium not necessarily not moving but zero acceleration this in equilibrium implies that acceleration net acceleration equals zero so these two are going to be equal so this is going to be mg sine theta, and we know that that's being counteracted by this block right here, called a particle. And so we're going to have a net force, or we're going to have a force down here that's going to be um, mass times gravity. But this mass is different than that mass. This mass is specifically going to be 3 kilograms. So if we write out this balance, setting the two equal to each other, over here we're going to have mg sine of theta equals m, I'm going to call this 3 kilogram m, times g. You could also say sine of theta as well, where the theta in this case would just be 90 degrees. But mg, straight down. Bam. Solving this, because we know most of it, the g's will cancel. 
and we have m equals 3, because 3 kilograms here, divided by sine of 40, specifically 40 degrees. Go to our calculator. On, make sure we're in degrees, we are, and we do 3 divided by sine of 40. Click, and we get 4.67. 4 4.67 kilograms. And one thing to check to make sure is it makes sense that this block that's holding up the, the block on the ramp is going to be heavier than the block that's just straight up and down. So that's how I would approach this classic block on a ramp problem. Hope that helped. See you next time.